Do you think there will be changes to bowl season with how opt-outs are changing everything? I get this question all the time. I think everyone who's a college football fan is wondering, what's going to happen to bowl season? For a long time, I held on. You know I did. All of you are witnesses. You know I held on. And even when everyone else started saying meaningless bowl game, I, I considered that profanity. Like that deserves a TVMA label if you use that phrase. And so I, I've held on. And look, I didn't really care that guys were opting out because you're still putting a game in front of me, so that's great. But man, I don't know what it is about this year. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, for some reason, this, this particular cycle, I've felt it. I have felt what some of you have told me you've felt for a little while now, and that is the, the deteriorating significance or impact or value of bowl season. Now, I'm still going to watch, so I'll still be there. I am the most P1 college football viewer imaginable. I'm the most diehard. I'll be the last to leave, but I do feel it. And the thing about it is you can't rely on me. Like networks, advertisers, they can't rely on everything being okay as long as people like me and you are at the table because we'll be the last to leave. But, but the more casual fan that can take it or leave it, you know what they're saying about bowl season. They've been saying it for a while. You know how they feel. In some ways, I think you and I have started to feel this way and looked at bowl season and said, all I see every day when I, when I check my my favorite team's website or I check Twitter or Instagram is another player's opting out. And these, especially the higher you go on the ladder, these aren't even the same teams that I watched in the regular season. So I say all that to say, Kate, to answer your question, something's got to be done because I think there's too much money on the line. These are television products first and foremost, and there's a lot of money to be made on these things. And there's too much on the line to just let bowl season deteriorate into, into nothingness. They can't allow that to happen. So what's the alternative? The alternative is, well, a couple of things you could try. I've told you, for example, that I think tying revenue share from the bowl, in, from the bowl revenue packages onto a game pending you participate in the game would be one way to do it. Uh, it's it's, it's going to make you feel like you need to take a shower when I tell you what it comes down to, but it all comes down to money. I wasn't for the direction that the sport was taken. But it's been taken this way. You can't look at guys and say, hey, you're free to go profit off of yourself, but then also tell them, however, however, we do want you to still honor the pure spirit of competition and forget about money and, and putting your own career at stake for what we self-ascribe as exhibition games. We still want you to do that. You can't do that. That's, that's a classic Toothpaste out of the tube situation. You can't do that. So there's got to be skin in the game or else you're going to have what you're already having. Now, there is truthfully nothing you can do to prevent first round caliber talent from opting out of bowl games. I don't believe that's possible at this point. So what are we talking about? We're talking about maybe fringe guys trying to get them to participate. You can either put skin in the game and have money on the line or you can do things that are a lot more radical. I was talking to someone the other day, I guess you would call them an administrator, and they were, you know, they weren't talking about anything formal, but they were telling me about some of the ideas folks behind the scenes have had to um, salvage bowl season. And there's some pretty radical concepts. And one of them that I thought was interesting, that I've added a couple of, couple of little caveats myself onto, is when you expand the playoff, you will fill more inventory in December and January. So, you know, if, if you were to just snap your fingers and do away with all non-playoff bowl games right now, you'd be left with three games. Well, you're not going to do that. So if you did, though, and you expanded the playoff, which we're doing in a couple of years, whether we like it or not, you, you at least have more inventory and it's spread out over December and January. What a proposal that's been floated around would include is taking what would be your bowl game? Like Kentucky is supposed to play Iowa, I think, in the bowl game. You would just take that game, you would play it, but it would be your week one game the following year. So that's how you would start your season. And it would obviously create a, a full-on spectacle for what week one of college football is. You'd still get your matchup. You would still you know, present it the way, I guess, that a bowl game would be presented in terms of the advertising and the branding um, I guess one of the trade-offs there that I didn't think about is you'd need it in a neutral venue. 
which I'm not a fan of ever in the regular season. But anyway, if you're making a change, that's one change that has been just thrown around. I'm not saying that's, that's ready for any vote or anybody has moved to uh, put it to a vote or anything like that. Obviously, what happens if you didn't make a bowl? Do you just play someone else who didn't make a bowl? If you made the playoff, do you start the next season playing another playoff team? Uh, that is about as close as you would get in college football, by the way, to handling a scheduling format based on how successful you had been the year before, which is what the NFL does. So I don't know. I also know that financial incentives not going away. So I think that there are changes coming to bowl season. Truthfully, I have no skill of knowledge in knowing which direction they're going to take it, but I just don't think, I think it would be very foolish at this point for even the most romantic person about this sport to think, oh, they'll come back just, just for love of the game, just just for the spirit of competition, they'll come back. Can't. You, you let that train leave the station, and it's way down the tracks now. And those tracks are tilted, and they're not tilted towards you. Guys, thanks for watching Late Kick. Make sure to leave a comment. I love interacting with you. But most of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's how we keep all of this free.